recovered documents from Silvis Tenebrarum. Warning, only personnel with level 4 authorization are granted access to these documents. Following the emergence of the entity known as within our reality, numerous locations have been engulfed by known as Silvis Tenebrarum. It has recorded to reach up to 160 kilometers in radius, and affected areas show acute mutation to both flora and fauna. All attempts to destroy and remove Silvis Tenebrarum have been futile. In the year, the Exquenterius Viratatum organization was founded with its primary objective being cataloging all new flora and fauna and re after years of operation. Facility 4A. All surviving personnel were terminated. The attached documents and photos were recovered by the research team from the remnants of Facility 4A. For further information, please regard addendum and contact agent. Excerpt from the journal of Simon N. Dong from the Division of Anatomy and Physiology. In the year, the Equenterius Viratatum organization was founded with its primary objective being cataloging all new flora and fauna. September 28th, year. When Peter told me this job was unorthodox, I was not necessarily expecting this. This facility has been operating for three months, and unsurprisingly, most of the doctors and researchers hired here have not lasted more than a week due to This facility has been operating for three months, and unsurprisingly, most of the doctors and researchers hired here have not lasted for more than a week due to And finding anyone willing to accept this job has been near impossible. Given the fact that it made sense why Peter would recommend me to fill in this position. They never told me where this facility even is, or why the ecosystem is drastically mutated. All they want me to do is and record any At this point, I do not really have anywhere else to go. So, I am more than willing to cut open a creature or two. October 14th. Year the outsearch team brought some kind of fawn from today's expedition. The specimen was found near Sector surrounded by half-eaten carcasses, crying most likely out to its mother. It did not have a conventional mouth. Instead, a long proboscis that reached to the back of its ribcage. Still not quite sure what its diet is, but it seems to favor. The carcasses it was found with had mangled faces with tentacle-like growths covering their faces all the way down to the base of their neck. Whether these were a natural growth or the result of an attack is still unclear. It had rescued it on the basis of sentimental value and requested EVO to take care of it himself, which was a complete waste considering it still ended up in the care of the bio division. More likely than not, since barely anything is known about its diet or physiology, it will most likely. October 21st. Year. This photo was taken by one of the outsearch members after it had disappeared for three hours. The child was quickly released back into the wild, and Paul's remains were sent back to EVO headquarters for cremation. November 7th. Year. Due to incompetence and negligence, no real specimen was to be retrieved. Only thing we have to work off is this photograph and the third degree acid burns and bite marks on December 7th. Year. How they even contained this creature without more casualties is beyond my comprehension. Subject was found in inside of what appeared to be an abandoned church. Trying to bring it back resulted in three personnel currently in the ICU, and a fourth named Noah disemboweled and his eyes mutilated. Its behavior seems extremely erratic in the time that it has been caged. No one has seen it sleep, or really eat. All food placed within its containment has been and it mostly paces and mutters to itself. At least, I think it was muttering. It seems to notice any person that walks by it, despite having no eyes, and follows them inside, moaning and clawing until they leave its vicinity. Post-investigation shows the church was some sort of nest, with bones and entrails piled on were found inside of the nest and mutilated similar to Noah. December 27th. Year Two of the new personnel for the outsearch team have gone missing since the attack, with it confirmed dead. This entity was highly aggressive and violent, with seven other members gravely injured. From photographs, it seems similar to the heads found near the church earlier this month. Still, not entirely sure why it only ripped off its head and left the body completely intact. Madison it is still missing. December 28th, year. An unknown human voice was heard near the facility today. It went to investigate and was able to capture this photo before January 1st. Year. Peter called me outside to show a large, eight-legged creature trying to enter in through the back door. It was easily captured and contained, though its horrible smell caused several of the personnel to become nauseated. Closer inspection of its engorged stomach showed a person in there, and after some testing, it was revealed to be Madison Wenger. Wenger was alive in a comatose-like state. Surgery has been scheduled to excise Wenger from its stomach.
January 2nd? Year Wenger at first showed no signs of outward life when we broke into the surface, but when we finally removed the sack, she immediately began screaming. Wenger continued to scream for The only option left was for immediate euthanasia. We were not allowed to even send remains back to EVO headquarters and had to be on site. I feel sick to my stomach. March 15th. Year? The first time OutSearch members entered, they encountered this large flying entity. While it did not attack or harm anyone physically, any personnel that stared directly into its eyes were. Even those that were not affected in this way showed flu-like symptoms and cognitive problems. EVO have not responded to any of the health issues that have popped up, and instead just sent new hires and better equipment. It seems like... I have been having nightmares and cold flashes since the surgery back in January. I want to quit so bad, but I... I just want to know what is happening. April 30th. Year... We have reached a deep enough point with it where we started encountering entities that were... Despite begging him to, Peter decided to go on this expedition due to the low amount of outsearch members we have left. They encountered this being in... That was... Almost no one made it back from this encounter. Joshua was the only surviving member from that expedition, though he is not really comprehensible anymore. From what I can discern from his raving, is that all the members including Peter fell into a trance and walked towards it until July 13th. Year? Whatever that thing did to Peter sure has a fucked up sense of humor. I think the worst part was that Peter was still alive in there and clearly in pain. The sounds he made were horrible and the only thing I could make out of his garbled mess was Everyone else is trying to stay inside the facility and ration off the remaining supplies and food, hoping EVO would send some sort of rescue team. But I know better. September 27th. Year? There are not many of us left now. Most people have either been... or were too infected. What little supplies we have left were loaded onto the last working vehicle, and we are going to just drive as far away from here as we can. The others don't know where we are going to, but... I have a feeling that will inevitably drive us towards it. Whatever is there, I... October 12th, year... Dear... The Facility 4A from the initiative have merged with the entity known as... The byproduct was found emerging from the Silvis Tenebrarum in... After contact was cut off for repeated years. Kind regards... Megalithic mutated memories! It appears some sort of mysterious mutagen by the name of Silvis Tenebrarum has breached into our reality and caused the local flora and fauna of Earth to mutate in horrific, wacky, and nonsensical ways. While most of the information about these monstrosities has been annoyingly redacted, like seriously every other word was redacted, we can still gauge quite a lot about this fascinating disaster from what's left. First off, what does Silvis Tenebrarum mean? For starters, Silvis can mean wood or forest in Latin, and Tenebrarum means darkness in Latin. Forest of darkness. Got it? Good. Our protagonist, Simon and Dong, <laughs> Duong? I'm gonna call him Dong. Anyways, Wang over here has been tasked with studying the physiology and anatomy of mutated flora and fauna gathered by the Outsearch team. It isn't stated in the stolen, I mean recovered notes why the environment in this area is so severely mutated, but we know for sure that it has something to do with whatever the hell Silvis Tenebrarum is. Speaking of mutated flora and fauna, it's through Penis's notes over here that we meet a few special friends, including but not limited to Fucked Up Deer, The Scullipede, Skin Wolf, Multi Wolf, The Pregnancy Spider, Flying Eyeball, Indescribable Horror, The Remains of Peter, and last but not least, The Fusion Monster. The gang's all here! Through viewing these creatures side by side, it becomes obvious that the Silvis Tenebrarum mutates these animals in a few consistent ways. Okay, so you know how most living things on Earth have the red gooey crap on the inside? So if you got Silvis tenebrarum you'd have the red gooey crap on the outside. Not only that, but infection seems to cause the victim to generate many new otherworldly looking organs. The mutations also seem to affect the animal's behaviors and feeding patterns, as it appears that the deer were feeding on a human corpse. Fun fact, deer already feed on dead animals sometimes, but the difference here is that they don't usually kill them themselves. Good thing Ding Dong got rid of that fawn that had skin like a ball sack. The most confounding aspect of the nature of these mutations is how they fuse beings together. For example, one look at the scullipede and you'd notice that it has a lot of skulls. No shit. These skulls are all seemingly from different animals, 
and much of its torso is made out of a skull bone as well. It's my theory that this was not one mutated animal, but a mutated predator that fused with those it killed to create some sort of badass skull rib cage exoskeleton. Now that's pretty fucking metal. This could also explain how the multi-wolf absorbed and eventually assimilated a human head into its being. And it could also explain Peter's infection. Think about it. Peter fused with another creature from inside the wasteland, and the mutation proceeded to take over his body until he was more critter than man. This was also likely the eventual fate of Madison inside the spider's stomach. While it's entirely possible that it could have just been eaten, or the way that life fuses and bleeds into each other here suggests that the prego spider may have intended to fuse with Madison. Nature is just so beautiful sometimes. I mean, not right now. This makes me want to turn the Amazon rainforest into an Amazon fulfillment center, but I don't know, man, eat some crickets. The fusion mutation scene also explained the eventual demise of the facility, as the entire crew and facility fused with a large entity that came from the mutagen, an unholy combination of human, machinery, and Lovecraftian viscera. Hooray! If we look closer at this being, we can see that the surface of the megalithic creature's face is actually made from a ton of little human faces. This guy knows a thing or two about teamwork. It's not known what the fate of the combined facility organism was after this point, but chances are, if it's as motivated as it was in the storybook, the rest of humanity is going to be joining its brethren as a giant squirming critter real soon. And they all lived happily ever after, unless they happened to not want to be a giant assimilated abomination. The end. This video was based on the art and storybook titled The Recovered Documents from Silvis Tenebrarum by Leslie Q. Art. They're a great artist, so you should go check out all their things. If you like this video, you should like, comment, and subscribe with all notifications enabled, or I'll feed you to whatever the hell the mysterious threat was. Shout out the inner circle. Love y'all. Oh, bye. <laughs>